April 23rd is the Canadian Olympic and Paralympic Team Parade presented by the City of Montreal and the Government of Canada in partnership with Chevrolet and Rona. Celebrate Canada's 2010 Heroes along St. Catherine Street. It kicks off on the corner of Ford at 11.30 with over 140 athletes including medalists and wraps up with a big party at Phillips Square where we're going to be broadcasting live, I believe. One of the people you will see in that parade is Olympic champion. She got the silver medal in uh, Vancouver. Uh, on moguls, which is just blows my mind. Anybody can do that. Jennifer Heil is in studio. Good morning. Good morning. Pleasure to see you. Thanks for having me. When you uh, walked in, I asked if you had it. <laughs> and you of certainly course did. I did. You carry it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the heft of of the silver medal, the mini medal, is is kind of shocking to me. Well, these are the heaviest Olympic medals ever made. Is that real silver? It's solid silver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's part of a mosaic, and it all fits together somehow. If you guys ever all got together, wouldn't that be something? Well, yeah, but we wouldn't even have all the pieces because we're only one team. We would need uh, every athlete true. in in, uh, in the Olympics who won a medal, but uh, they certainly are beautiful. They did such a great job. You're a Montrealer now. I am, yeah. I've lived something? here since 2003. You go to school? I go to school at McGill. Excellent. Yeah, I do all my training here. Speaking of which... I kept being reminded by the excellent coverage on CTV of the Olympic Games and uh, NBC for that matter about how hard you guys work to get there. It boggles the mind. <laughs> when did you start? Well, I started skiing at the age of two. I started, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. This was in Alberta. Right? Yeah, yeah, my dad loves to ski. I think he just wanted to go skiing himself, so he got us going. But um, I started freestyling, freestyling at the age of nine. And uh, I always dreamt of going to the Olympics. I picked up a magazine and saw Olympians. And so I decided I wanted to go to the Olympics one day. I actually thought I'd go to the Olympics in a summer sport. I was in love with swimming, and uh, but as you can't see right now, I'm five foot three, so I <laughs> realized that I quickly had to find another sport, and uh, and uh, yeah, just did many sports growing up, and then took skiing um, all the way. Well, there are many different branches of skiing, as we saw during the Olympics. Why moguls? Well, I've n I've never done alpine actually. Uh, my dad, it came back to my dad again. He loved to ski moguls, so he ta I ta I knew how to ski moguls before I knew there was a sport of mogul skiing, and uh, I just love the sport. It's so dynamic. It's very challenging, and there's so many things to work on. I mean, it's almost impossible to perfect your mogul skiing te technique even after 10 years on the World Cup tour with the program on the podium and programs like B210. We said that we wanted to excellence, and so we started to create the programs that could support excellence. Before we were saying, well, you know, let's go to the Olympics, let's do our best, um, you know, let's see what we can do. But for the first time, we said, no, we want excellence, and we built the programs to support it. So all the athletes, we had resources like we've never had before. We were prepared like we've never been prepared before. And I think it was all the athletes who knew before the games even started that, of course, we were going to own the podium. You know, we knew it in our hearts, and that's why we had such great performances. What is the Olympic experience like for that? It's not party time. Because <laughs> Unless your event's day one, <laughs> like mine. <laughs> yeah, and then you could relax. <laughs> yeah. It's over. But it, it, it's pretty serious stuff. Oh, of course, of course. Well, in my case, um, I have 30 seconds to perform. So we do a qualification in the morning. If you make a mistake, you're out. That's it. You don't even get a chance to oh, go for God. the medal. And then uh, for finals in the evening, they reverse the start order, the qualification order, and you have one shot, less than 30 seconds. You've been training, in some cases, your whole life, um, very intensely the last four years. And so um, there is a lot of pressure, especially in a sport where, yeah, that's it, one chance. You can't come back tomorrow and, and go again. So it's, uh, it's quite intense, but at the same time, I mean, I, one of the greatest moments in my career was standing on top of the mountain in Vancouver and just before my name was called I could hear the crowd and it was like the mountain was vibrating and it is such an intense moment but that's what makes this medal and the whole experience that much more special. How did Vancouver do? Because you've been to two other Olympics, you won gold in Torino. Yep. Vancouver looked great on TV. Vancouver was amazing. Yeah. To be honest, Torino looked great on TV but mm -hmm. it, it was just the bare minimum. Behind the scenes things were not functioning well. But uh, in Vancouver, not only did it look great on TV, it was just amazing to be there. The village was the most beautiful athlete village um, that they've ever constructed. We were staying in beautiful condos as a team. Um, the city was alive. That was probably the most amazing thing, is that everybody was just out on the street all partying for two weeks. Everywhere we went, we got high fives, congratulations. We were so embraced by everybody. and. 
this the spirit was amazing. I mean, people were breaking out into sponta- uh, into into singing O Canada I know. just on the streets. I know. So it was really it was amazing. Really something. Mm. Here's a question I'm sure you're sick of answering. Sochi? <laughs> um, well, this was my third Olympic Games, so I'll be there next year for World Championships, which is only once every two years in our sport, and for another World Cup season. Um, I'm going for a, a new record of six World Cup overall titles, um, which has never been done in our sport before. And uh, then we'll see what's in store for me. I need to get this degree done one of these days at McGill. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do well. Well, it, it is an absolute uh, pleasure to meet you, uh, Jennifer, and and I want to thank you for, for coming in and uh, bringing this amazing keepsake <laughs> with you, if I can call it that. <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you. Thanks very much.